In this lesson, we'll be looking at, at alkenes, covering concepts required at the O-level examinations. We will look at what is unsaturation, the structures and the formulas of the first few members, cracking, reactions of alkenes, specifically combustion, and addition reaction. And finally, we will compare the polyunsaturated molecules to the monounsaturated molecules. The alkenes are hydrocarbons. The simplest alkenes have general formula of CnH2n. So for example, if the alkene has six carbons, we will expect it to have 12 hydrogen atoms in that molecule. Now this is limited to alkenes that has only one double bond. If the alkenes has more than one double bond, this formula doesn't apply. Alkenes are unsaturated, just mentioned, because they contain double bonds between carbon atoms, right? they are known as unsaturated molecules. Compared to the alkanes, we consider alkanes as saturated as they only contain single bonds between carbon atoms. So, looking at the first few members of alkenes, first thing you realize their names end with E and E. Ethene, propene and butene. Compared to alkanes, which their names end, ends with A and E. So, ending of the name tells us that they come from the alkene family. And the starting of the name, just like for alkanes, will tell us the number of carbons. ETH will have two carbons. PRO, three carbons. BUT, four carbons. Right, we do not start with one carbon because we need to have at least a double bond between two carbons. So the first member of alkenes has two carbons. Molecular formula. Remember that the general formula is CNH2N. So molecular formula, if we have two carbons, we will have four hydrogen. Propene, C3, H6, butene, four carbons, H8. Structural formula, for ethene, we have two carbons. So I draw the two carbons first. Importantly, the carbons will have a double bond among them, at least one pair. Since each carbon has four bonds, if I look at the left carbon, two already are formed. There will be two bonds for this carbon joined to hydrogen atoms. Carbon on the right, two carbons form or two bonds form. Another two bonds will be joined to hydrogen. So this is the structure formula for ethene. Propene. Three carbons, I'll just select any one pair to have that double bond. And then I'll fill in the rest of the bonds, making sure each carbon has four bonds. So from the left, this carbon has one bond. You will have three more bonds. Join to hydrogen. This carbon, already there are three bonds taken up. So the fourth bond will be for the hydrogen. Final carbon, two bonds taken up. The last two bonds will be for hydrogen. And we can do a quick check. There are six hydrogen in the molecule, right? That fulfills our molecular formula. Butene, one, two, three, four. I can select any one pair to contain the double bond. Right, 
then we fill in the rest of the bonds this carbon two bonds already two more for hydrogen second carbon three bonds are formed final bond for hydrogen this carbon two bonds two more for hydrogen the last carbon used up only one bond so far so it has three bonds for hydrogen So these are the first three members of alkenes. Each one contain one double bond. Now if you are thinking, can they contain more than one double bond? Um, yes, it still be considered as an alkene. But then it will not fulfill the general formula anymore. Right, so these are the simplest ones. The alkenes that contain only one double bond. How do we get alkenes? Remember that when we get crude oil, we need to distill or we need to use fractional distillation to separate out the different fractions. The larger fractions at the bottom are not as useful. They burn not as easily. So what we do with them is we take the larger molecules found at the bottom of the dis uh, fractional distillation and we break them. We crack them into smaller molecules. And when they're broken down, we get smaller alkanes, small alkenes, and sometimes even hydrogen gas. So alkenes aren't really found in fractional distillation. Alkenes are obtained by cracking the larger molecules that are obtained from fractional distillation. In the lab or in questions, exams, questions, you might see diagrams like this. This is a simple setup for cracking alkenes in the lab. What we have here will be liquid petroleum or large molecules of alkanes soaked inside cotton wool or glass wool and then they are heated to turn them into gases. The gas will pass into this area where it contains the catalyst. Right, the catalyst will help the breaking down of the molecules into small alkanes, alkenes, and sometimes hydrogen gas, which can be collected by water displacement. Reactions of alkenes, there's combustion, and there's addition reactions and addition reactions there are three main reactions in the syllabus hydrogenation bromination and hydration <laughs>